60 second economics on economies of scale and market structure. Now, as a business increases scale of production, it can utilize internal economies of scale, for example, bulk buying. The effect is a reduction in long run average cost, and this cost advantage allows bigger firms to lower their prices and potentially undercut smaller rivals. Now, this over time can lead to a monopoly or oligopoly market structure as smaller businesses are driven out of the industry by subnormal profits. The minimum efficient scale is the level of output in the long run where internal economies of scale have been fully exploited. Now, when there are super large economies of scale, we tend to see a more concentrated market structure. You see, fully scaled businesses have significant cost and price advantages over smaller rivals. And the extreme example of this is a natural monopoly, where the economies of scale are so large that one firm can supply the entire market at a lower average cost than any combination of smaller firms. However, when the minimum efficient scale is a small percentage of total industry demand, then markets are often fragmented with numerous small firms. Businesses such as small cafes, for example, can operate efficiently without large scale production.